for a trip this long, definitely doing more than one client's worth of work. I'm going to be at a conference for a week. I'm going to be on site for meetups, uh, do some impromptu sessions with a good, good set of friends at the Australian Access Federation. But since it takes a good 25 hours to get there from here and a whole lot of jet lag, I'm there for a lot longer than usual and it's going to be hit the ground, uh, <laughs> attempt to recover and just keep working while I'm there. So I've traveled all the way to Brisbane, Australia for the Internet Engineering Task Force meeting, the 119th meeting of its name. It's not going to actually have a whole lot of people here, not compared to usual. Uh, last I saw, the current attendee list had about 600 people physically attending and about 250 people or so uh, attending remotely. Now to give you a sense of scale, normal meetings are about twice that big. I guess not a lot of people wanted to get up at uh, Odark 30 for the remote calls or travel the 30 hours it takes to get to Australia. So what I'm doing here specifically, I mean IETF has a whole lot of different working groups in areas covering networking and routing and security. I'm here primarily for the identity related components and there's three groups in particular and hallway conversations with the people that uh, are brainstorming what to do next or how to solve particular problems. So I'm here specifically for three, three group meetings and a whole bunch of hallway conversations. Uh, one group is known as Whimsy, which is the workload identity for uh, multi-system environments. The next one isn't a working group yet, but it's trying to be, and it's called SPICE, which is the uh, secure patterns for internet credentials. And the third one is OAuth. OAuth is, is like the, the biggest identity working group here at the IETF and they're not, they're not having just one, not two, but three sessions with over 16 uh, documents under consideration. Why, is it, why does it matter? Why are we having these conversations at all? Because identity needs to be about as interoperable as phone numbers. It shouldn't matter the issuer or the carrier Right. The, the, the underlying mechanisms for actually using digital identity on the internet need to be interoperable. And this is where those conversations happen as to what does that mean, what does that look like. This is where comp competing organizations, the Googles, the Microsofts, the Apples, the uh, NVIDIAs, all of them are here to talk about what it means to be interoperable on the internet. And I can't think of anything more important than that. And that's a wrap for IETF 119 in Brisbane, Australia. The biggest thing I got out of the week was just how much I learned about non-human identity. Things about how the physical supply chain, software supply chain, workload, all of those also touch on the identity space in ways that I never knew about. So I've got a whole lot of homework to do, a lot of reading between now and the next IETF meeting. And my next trip is going to be Mountain View, California to the Internet Identity Workshop. I hope you'll join along for that one too, and have a great rest of your day.